hello there dear friend welcome to the channel and thank you for watching today is the day after the defeat against arsenal we got humiliated and everybody knows about it i'm still depressed and as you can tell by my voice i am not really in the position to making videos but hey i committed myself to making videos every single day to entertain you guys and we are together always we lose we win we are together i know many people want to associate to chelsea football club only when we win games and when we lose games they are not there they're gonna find scapegoat they're gonna insult people they're gonna attack people but hey for me we lose together we win together and in this video we're gonna talk about marcos alonso do you think marcos alonso went too far by liking the Chelsea defeat. So for people who don't know, Chelsea lost heavily against Arsenal C team yesterday. And what Marcos Alonso did, he went on social media on Twitter and liked the post talking about Chelsea losing 3-1 to Arsenal. And that didn't please many Chelsea fans who still support the team but it pleased many Chelsea fans who want to see Frank Lampard out and who will find any kind of scapegoat to blame about anything at Chelsea you know what I mean so if you are anti Frank Lampard you're gonna encourage Marcus Alonso but if you support the team if you are a true Chelsea fan you will understand that the club is more important than individuals so marcos alonso do you think he went too far by liking that post or you think is normal because he's angry for not playing and he want to show people that uh, without him chelsea can't do anything you know what i mean so for me really let me make it clear somebody can make a fake marcos alonso's twitter account you never know okay with the technology today you can do anything but because many big sport outlet reported about the incident i'm gonna go with the flow and assume he did it in that case if he did it i'm not happy about it because nobody is better than the club we all know what uh, marcos alonso did for the club in the past when we were playing three at the back, Marcos Alonso is a serious weapon when it comes to being a wing back. But playing flat four, Marcos Alonso is almost useless. So, what he did the last time he played, it was against West Brom, and he he was sub uh, at half time, and he went to the bus. He didn't want to be. On the bench and support other players so he showed that it's all about himself has nothing to do with the whole team he needs to play or nothing you know what i mean so when he was on the field other players were on the bank on the bench supporting him but when he was subbed he went to the bus and continued to watch the game from the bus instead of supporting other boys on the field. So in that case, I'm gonna support Frank Lampard 100%. This guy doesn't deserve the blue shirt. It's about Chelsea Football Club and not about Marcos Alonso. You can tell what whatever you want. You can say anything, okay? If Marcos Alonso was there, we were not going to lose, blah, blah. That is your problem. And remember, every time we lose, people try to find scapegoat and try to find why a why. And this is an easy and lazy thing to do, just to think that if Marcos Alonso was there, we were going to win. Hello, how many games? Marcos Alonso was awful and nobody wanted to see him in the blue shirt anymore. But hey, I, I completely understand this. This is what we do. We flip-flop all the time depending on the result. So, if you want to support Marcos Alonso, it's okay. But for me, 
I will continue to support the team no matter who is playing for Chelsea Football Club. You know what I mean? Frank Lampard is going to go away one day. Marcos Alonso is going to leave the club probably very soon. Uh, I heard that he's going to Atleti uh, on loan in January. Everybody is going to, to go somewhere else, but the club is going to remain. And Chelsea, true fans, are going to support the team instead of individuals. So leave your comment. Let me know what you think about Marcos Alonso. Should we give him a chance tomorrow against Aston Villa? Or you think we made a mistake by not playing Marcos Alonso?